Hi, welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-112 from RC Hibaler Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, we have to determine the projected component of the force FAB and the magnitude of the force FAB is 560 newtons acting along the cable AC. Express the result as a Cartesian vector. Now to solve this problem, first of all, we have to find the coordinates. So for the coordinates of point A, the coordinates of point A are 0, 3, 0 meters. The coordinates of point B are, it is negative 1.5 in the x direction, comma, 0 in the y direction, and 1 meters along the z axis. For point C, point C is 1.5 meters towards the positive x axis, 0 in the y axis, and 3 meters in the z axis. So these are our coordinates. Now to express FAB force in terms of Cartesian vector form, which can be written as FAB equals to its magnitude into the unit vector AB. Now to find the unit vector AB, it can be written as position vector RAB divided by its magnitude. And to find the position vector RAB, we have to subtract the coordinates of point B from the coordinates of point A. So it becomes negative 1.5 minus 0i plus 0 minus 3j plus 1 minus 0k divided by their magnitude. So we have a square root of negative 1.5 square plus negative 3 square plus 1 square. So UAB comes out to be negative 0.429i minus 0.857j plus 0.286k. Now we have to substitute this unit vector AB into this equation. Let's call this equation 1. So equation 1 becomes FAB is equal to its magnitude, which is 560 newtons into the unit vector AB. So we have negative 4 to 9 I, negative 0.857 J plus 0.286 K. So FAB in terms of Cartesian vector form becomes negative 240.24 I, negative 479.92 J plus 160 0.16k. Now, since we have to find the projected component along the line AC, so we have to find the unit vector AC as well. So the unit vector UAC is equal to the position vector RAC over its magnitude. And again, the position vector RAC can be found by subtracting the coordinates of point C from the coordinates of point A. So we have 1.5 minus 0i plus 0 minus 3j plus 3 minus 0k divided by its magnitude. So we have 1.5 squared plus negative 3 square plus 3 square. So UAC becomes One over three i minus two over three j plus two over three k. Now, to find the projected component of the FAB force onto the direction of AC, we are going to use the applications of the dot product. By using the dot product, we can find the projected component of one vector onto the direction of the other vector. So, let's see how we can do that. So for the magnitude of the FAB force on the line AC, 
we have fab dot unit vector ac and it can be written as by the definitions of the dot product magnitude of the fab force projected on the direction of line ac or the vector ac multiplied by the magnitude of the unit vector ac we all know that the magnitude of the unit vector is always one so this becomes one and let's say this is our equation 2 so equation 2 becomes now to find the magnitude of the projected component of the fab force on the direction ac we have to find the dot product between the fab force and the unit vector ac so we have negative 240.24 i minus 479.92 j plus 160.16 k dot the unit vector ac which is equals to 1 over 3i minus 2 over 3j plus 2 over 3k. Now for the dot product, we have to consider the product of the like components only. So we have negative 80.08 when you multiply these two plus when you multiply the j and j components, you would get 319. Point nine plus when you multiply these two, you would end up with one zero six point eight. So the magnitude of the component of FAB force on the direction of AC is three forty six point six newtons. And now we have to express this projected component of the FAB force in terms of Cartesian vector form. So it can be written as the projected component of the FAB force along the line AC in terms of vector form is equals to the magnitude of the FAB force along the line AC. Since this projected component is lying on the line AC, so we have to multiply it with the unit vector AC as its direction vector. So it becomes 346.6 into UAC, which is 1 over 3i minus 2 over 3j plus 2 over 3k. So when we simplify it, it comes out to be projected component of the FAB force along the cable AC comes out to be 115.5i minus 231. Point one j plus two thirty one point one k. So this is our final answer. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any questions or any doubts about this problem or about the top products, then feel free to ask in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.